And welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you all about my spring favourites. Now I know we're still in spring at the moment but I want to share with you guys the products that I'm gravitating towards the most recently. So if you're interested in my products please keep watching. The first product that I seem to be using a lot lately is the Kiko 226 eyeshadow. Now if you watch my videos, the last two videos, I seem to be gravitating towards this for both eyeshadow and for blush. I love this colour, it's like a peachy, pinky colour, um, I'll show you there, and it's just a, it just gives a beautiful lift to your cheeks and your eyes and it's just beautiful. I love it and this is my spring colour. Next product I seem to be using a lot in my videos and in day to day life. Um, every time I wear makeup, I will never not wear this product. So this is the Sephora Smart Eyeliner. I talked to you about this in my Sephora favorites, use this in every single one of my videos. And I love it because it's so easy to apply. For beginners, it's going to be amazing. I know there's not just only Sephora that do this shape. Um, and these kind of nib um, eyeliners. Um, if you look around, I think NYX do them as well. Um, Boots, if you go to your local drugstore here in the UK, is Boots and Superdrug. If you look, there are a lot of replicas of this. And I just think it's just a great, simple and easy way to apply eyeliner. There's no mess and no fuss and no complications. It's so easy and it's very pigmented as well. So I'll just show you there, and that is the eyeliner. The one product I keep using every day when I'm at work or just running out to get something and I just want a little bit of a glow is the MUA highlighter and it's the Undress Your Skin highlighter in the shade Iridescent Gold. Now this is a very sort of pearlescent and also has a sheen of gold silver and it's just beautiful. It has finely milled glitter um, and if you want to obviously know more about this product, check out my video for highlighters, I'll link them down below. But it's just a beautiful colour, it's perfect for all skin types of so whether you're fair skin, whether you olive or darker skin, it's just beautiful and also as you can tell a little bit does go a long way. So that is my highlighter. Moving on to lips, uh, the one that I'm wearing all the time and I just love at the moment is the Revlon Colour Burst in the shade Sultry. Now the one thing I like about this product is it just glides on beautifully. It's just a nice mauvey brownie shade and it's perfect for every skin colour. If you're pale skin, golden, you know, or honey tones, or again, dark skin, it's gonna suit everybody. Now, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this has a little bit of peppermint in it, and peppermint is really good for plumping up your lips, and I always find that my lips are tingling slightly, so if you want a bit of a plumper, or just a, just a slight lift to your lips, this is beautiful. Now I have a few other colours, but this is the one that I tend to gravitate towards a lot and I've been wearing a lot this spring and will probably continue to do so. So yeah, Colour Burst um, by Revlon. For the face, uh, there's one product that I really fell in love with and the only reason why is because um, it was sold to me by a really, really nice guy called Giovanni and Iona in Amsterdam. And it's Mika Beauty Cosmetics um, Mineral Foundation Powder. This does not clog up your pores. It gives you a very light coverage. However, the more you put on, it's a very sort of buildable product. I really like wearing this um, if I want to sort of a day where I really don't want to cake on the makeup. And this is a natural product. It doesn't have any harsh chemicals on for you in, in here, so it's good for your skin. And it wipes straight off 
uh, with a makeup wipe but the beauty of this is and I've tried it and I've tested it it does not come off onto your clothing so if you're going in you know you're meeting your friends and you do like a mwah, mwah kind of thing or whatever it just does not come off on the other person or it's not transferable on clothes uh, it's a beautiful lightweight powder and it lasts a long long time and I wear this probably most weekends uh, I love this product if you really are looking for something where you don't want to cake on the product MAC does have a lot of cakiness to it I can't really describe it other than saying cakiness um, and it does really sit in your pores and you are potentially prone to uh, breakouts but with this Mika Beauty uh, Cosmetics you don't get that at all I feel like I'm not wearing anything it's very weightless they have a range of products but they saw this one to me and I love this product and if you're on holiday or you just want a lightweight uh, product for the spring and summer this is the go-to product for you guys the next product I seem to be wearing a lot of recently and I never used to wear eyelashes but this has changed my life. These are the Ardell Demi Wispy Lashes. They are so natural. I'm wearing them on my eyes today. They're so natural, but also give you the illusion that you are, you've got fuller lashes. I love them. I cannot recommend this more. I buy these from Amazon and also Boots also have them in store as well. Um, a lot of people are jumping on board with Ardell and I know why. You can wear these with or without any eye makeup, just put them on and they just give you that lift and they look so natural as well because they have the invisible band. Moving on to something completely different and not really makeup related, um, but I want to share this with you guys. The next product for the face is the Garnier um, Skin Natural Micellar, Micellar, I think it's Micellar, My, Micellar. Masala, my masala, <laughs> masala cleansing water. Now this is uh, the one that I picked is for um, sensitive skin, and it removes makeup, cleanses, and soothes without rinsing. This is amazing. I use this on my face, eyes, lips. Exactly what it says put it on a cotton pad, remove your makeup, and you feel like once you've removed it, you have nothing on your face. And as it says, you do not have to rinse it. Also, this is the most efficient way of removing your makeup, and it just removes it in one step. Now, I have added this to my cleansing and toning routine. So when I take off my makeup, I will also be using um, a makeup wipe. Then I use this and if I have any sort of residue eye makeup, I will go in with a cotton pad and use eye makeup remover. I would definitely add this to your step because I do think it's important and it's very easy. Just put it on the side of the sink and it's just effortless and you just wipe everything off. So yep, yeah. love this product. Don't know about you guys, but I've been having really dry lips recently. So what i have integrated into my nighttime routine is a lip scrub now this is from lush it's homemade um product and it's all natural so there's no animal testing which i love what lush stand for and i think it's amazing now this is the mint juleps um, and it's mint chocolate without the chip and uh, it's an easy way um, to obviously exfoliate your lip lips and buffer any dry skin now this smells amazing a little bit does go a long way i've been using this every night and i would highly recommend it to everybody and also good thing is you can eat it it's very affordable as well and it lasts a long time so i would definitely recommend it i mean i've been using this for a few weeks now it smells so good and I really do notice the difference. So I wouldn't be talking about a product if I really didn't think it would help everybody. So go out there, try and get this product. You can actually make your own as well. 
um, and there's lots of YouTube channels to watch videos, sorry, showing you how to make this product. So you don't even have to go out and buy this product itself. But a lip scrub is definitely something that I would integrate into your everyday um, routine. And it's so easy to apply your lipsticks, lip glosses, lip liners, and I would definitely look into that. And there you have it. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any products that you've been using recently and you want to share them with me, please do so I can start integrating them in my daily routine. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.